This tutorial will show you how to rewire reason into logic. Um, it's very similar to Cubase, but slightly easier to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up a new track. So I go up to the plus sign and click plus. Now here I want to select external MIDI. So I select external MIDI and create underneath that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is start up Reason. So, I'll be two seconds starting up Reason. Now that Reason started up, you can see it's empty. The next thing we need to do is add an instrument to Reason. So I'm going to create a Combinator. Select Combinator. Then, I'm going to put a patch in. So, Browse Patch. And while that loads, just wait for it to happen. Which is taking quite a while. And here we go. I'm going to go and select a piano sound. Because the pianos in Reason are excellent. Preset pianos and a Steinway. Try a nice old one for now. This will load the sound into Reason. Um, which can be triggered by logic. It's very similar to any other DAW whereby what you're doing is you're triggering the sound from your main program, so our main program is logic, and the sound will then go from reason back into logic. That's how rewire works. Just counting down the samples. Very interesting. Almost there. And uh, we now have a piano sound. Now, to make this work, it's very easy. Make sure, first of all, that you've got it wired into the back of the Reason hardware audio out output. So if you turn it round using the tab key, you should make sure that the combinator out or ever output of whichever instrument you're using is into the hardware device. I'm using one or two, one and two, or left and right. So I just press tab again. If I go back to Logic now, you'll be able to see that if you click on Media, my Media box is already open. It will give me a bunch of options. Now, the one I want here is Reason. Click on Reason and Combinator 1, which is the one I've just loaded up. If I change the name of it, if I go back into Reason and change the name of Combinator 1 like this, and call it Piano, and go back to Logic, you'll see it names it in Logic as well. Piano. So that's what I want to do. So I'm going to plug in my Piano. What I can do now is I can actually play the piano sound. As you can see, it's playing it. And if we go back to Reason, it's also playing it. The only problem is we've got no sound. Here is why. We need to go to the Windows and get the mixing desk up. You can do that by pressing Apple too as well. Then on the side here, you'll see it has a little plus button that says create new auxiliary channel strips. We press on that. We want a stereo one because remember we've got one and two coming back in from Reason. Then on the input, you can go to Reason and select left and right. There we go. Then create. Now the sound is the input. Here's the input and output bit. The input's from Reason's left and right and the output's us. So we should be able to get some piano sound. There we go. Very easy. That's how to rewire. A couple of tricks you should know when rewiring, which are quite important. If you want to play rather than play back, so if you want to record in, go to your audio settings and in your preferences set the rewire behavior to live mode. It will just mean there's less latency when you play it. Once you've recorded it in, set it back to playback mode.
The other thing that, that might be worth thinking about is go back to reason to avoid phasing, as in both instruments playing at the same time, make sure that your instrument you're playing isn't highlighted in reason and actually the transport bar is instead. Because when it's highlighted, you'll hear that there's it phases. If you just take it off like that, there you go, no phasing. So that's how to rewire in reason and logic.